I'm Bob Massey. For 32 years, I've been practicing law and living in Las Vegas. The property man, Bob Massey. The property man, Bob Massey, is here. Don't be afraid to ask questions and understand if something is done wrong, you do have rights in America. People that are successful aren't successful because they squander their money. They're successful because they grow. Bob Massey joins us live from Las Vegas. Bob, how many years? Remember, the kidnapping is the big one, and that could be anywhere from 15 to life. He was acquitted of a crime that most people believe that he committed, two crimes of murder. But he walked away from it. This defense team is not watching the same jury that we are. Keep your money. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Go to Vegas on a vacation. Yeah. What do you think? Come out. Come out to visit you. <laughs> Phil Donahue has nothing on Bob. Yeah, no I mean, kidding. He's working that audience. Bill's out of the game. Yeah. Bob's in it. Yeah. That is a very effective way to do it, and most states have that law. He's in, he's in town. Here's a hint. He's honoring our nation's finest. A wonderful evening to be around people that really love the flag, love the anthem, stand for the anthem, and understand what our country's about. It's just fantastic. Sorry we didn't get Thanks, that guys. birthday cake. He made Thank a birthday you. cake for yeah. you. Yeah. Fantastic. You, yes, I did. My grand kids loved it. Thank you. Well, they need it more than I do. All right. Used to hearing, seeing him answer your emails, giving you legal advice, stuff about real estate. But today he's in the Halloween spirit. Talk about some spooky laws when it comes to trick-or-treating. It looks good. You, you're a good-looking bald man. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that, buddy. It looks pretty nasty. Bob, and I know that you have, over the last year or so, tried to help a lot of people keep the keys to their houses. And yesterday, I understand you wound up with the key to the city. The first key to the city I ever got in my life. They have opened their arms to us, man. It's a great place to be and great to be in Florida. So you and your wife historically dress up and go throughout Las Vegas dressed as Mr. and Mrs. Claus. We've been doing it for years and we love it. We love children. Of course, the grandchildren That's are great. life. And That's I'm wonderful. very blessed. It's a great city with great people. That, that came together. And I think the world now understands Las Vegas in such a more positive fashion. Uh, Bob Massey, we got the news yesterday, died from cancer at the age of 67. Uh, in the last year or so, he was able to put a home studio in uh, at his house. And so he would be able to actually uh, be live from Las Vegas three hours uh, ahead of uh, East Coast time. And he was never late. He was always great. And that's one of the reasons you loved him. He had easy to understand advice. Uh, we saw in that uh, that montage a couple of the times he did the town halls, did them in uh, all over the country. You loved him. He was great. We I just wish him. we had had a he chance to say goodbye to him because he was such a good friend of ours. He always remembered us at Christmas, would send gifts. Yeah. So nice, just a wonderful person. Very, very successful attorney in Nevada, had his own law firm. He went to um, Mount St. Mary's College in New York and then went to law school down in Texas, St. Mary's University School of Law, and then ran his own firm there. He started his law practice and then ended up on TV about five years later and started at Fox from the very, very beginning. So you probably know him well, too. And as, uh, as successful as he was, he said the most thing he liked most is helping people uh, keep their homes and get their financial life back mm -hmm. in order and get them the retribution, sometimes uh, financial, uh, that they needed. So he took on the big guys and he also was willing to explain to us little guys actually uh, what was going on in the real yeah. estate market. And when he did those town halls, it was to help people yeah. after 2008 when so many uh, successful people uh, lost everything. Yeah. And he, he said, this is how you build yourself back. And he helped us understand the Michael Jackson case, the Scott Peterson case, the Robert Blake case, the Warren Jeffs case, Casey Anthony, and the Unabomber. He was on Fox for all of that. But he always talked about his grandkids. In that segment with yeah. you, Steve, when he made you the birthday cake, he said uh, he gave that to his grandkids. He had six grandchildren. Grandbabies, as grand he would call them. He has two sons and a daughter and his wife, Lynn, who you saw dressed as Mrs. Claus yeah. in uh, Vegas. Bob Massey, a terrific lawyer, a wonderful family man, a friend you could count on, dead at the age of 67. If you have any Massey memories, send them to us, please. And to his wife and to his family, we loved him, and I know you did too. And uh, God rest his soul, he was a good man.